Hello, Tudors, how you doing? Be with you in a sec. Just uh, doing the Discord thing. There we go. Porthos, sweetheart, can you please stop standing on my dress? I swear you're doing it on purpose. Ugh. Hey, Rocket, how you doing? Did some self care today. Shaved and hair washed, and my controller should be delivered early next week. Awesome! That's great news! I'm so glad you found some time to do some self care. It's really, really important to do stuff like that. And you always feel better for it. Especially in this bloody weather. I'm being a complete weirdo and having a cup of coffee to start this stream off. I'm not spooned enough to play it yet because it's here on Sunday. So I sorted a replacement for that. It's precisely my flavour of crap. Oh, that'll be interesting, Tidders. Um, I don't know if I'll be about for your stream on Sunday, unfortunately, because um, uh, Mum Squig is talking about doing something on a day around my birthday for my birthday. Um, hey Buff, how you doing? Uh, and I don't know what day she's chosen, <laughs> so I'll have to wait and see, I guess. Or what she wants to do for that matter. Um. Eh, not too bad Buff, not too bad, how are you doing? Um, oh, and I'll apologise now because I completely forgot to mention it. Um, if you can hear a funny noise in the background, I've got the fan that I brought from, upstairs, uh, from downstairs. Uh, running in the background. Yes, the bloody ice cream van's back. Um, now where did I put that? Oh, I put it here, didn't I? I've got something cool to show everybody. I'm not getting you a Cornetto. If I don't get an ice cream, you don't get an ice cream. Doing good, make two Warlock, Lunatic Dini. Awesome! That'll be interesting. Um, so I'm going to show you this before we start playing Valhalla. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> So, in the post today, I got this. Yay, it's a plastic case, right? Um, this is the backlighting kit for my Game Boy Color. Very exciting. And it came with a new screen as well. But I've ordered a new one that's uh, pink instead of black around the outside. So that when I get my pink buttons, well, my other pink buttons, because, uh, where did I put those? Here they are. Um, I've got replacement pink buttons. Um, so yeah, when I, when I get the uh, start and um, select buttons, which are this colour of pink, um, and my new case, which is a crystal version of this colour of green, um, I can make the most beautifully garish Game Boy Colour you've ever seen and it'll be backlit so I can play it at night. Uh, I'm very very excited about it but I've also got um, these acrylic paint pens because um, I actually want to customise the crystal green shell but I haven't decided what I want to draw on it yet. So if anybody has any ideas for something they think could look cool um, do feel free to let me know either in chat or in Discord or over Twitter, whatever, because um, I am really stuck for ideas at the moment. Um, but yeah, so. Hey, Ivan, how you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, I'm gonna take us over to Valhalla now. Fingers framing the screen. Uh, I could do, I guess. I could draw Kirby, yeah. Um, oh yeah, and I'm being a total fucking shill 
and drinking coffee out of my own branded mug because I'm one of those people. Also, it was the nearest coffee mug when I decided to get a coffee. Oh my god, I could put Red Porthos on there. That would be really cool. Draw a squig. Oh god, my squigs are crap though. Like, I, I can paint a squig. Um, and I can Photoshop the the main avatar squig, but uh, I can't draw me own. And I think having my uh, it's bad enough I've got a I've got my own um, fake fizzog on my mug. Oh yeah, the other side of it though. I do fucking love the other side of it. It's got the Hobby Happy Hour logo on it. I'm planning on making them available again. Um, Soon-ish. Um, for anybody that actually wants one. Which is unlikely, I know, but eh, whatever. Hey Zero, I hope you're doing well today, friend, and thank you very much for the treat for Porthos. Okay. Yeah, I know. Shame on me. I am alive, so that's something. Fucking mood, mate. Oh, I'm hoping, by the way, um, because Duke Silver is a fucking legend, um, the the latency problems I've been having with my microphone will be fixed now. Or as close to fixed as I can get them. Um, oh, okay then, Rocket. Yeah. I saw that as well, Tidders, and that was... Uh, interesting but yeah hopefully fixing the the microphone latency issues will a mean that i don't sound like i'm cutting everybody up and pausing for a really long time during discord calls and b um will mean that you hear what i say sooner after i say it um exclamation mark so is the shout out command buff it should work <laughs> oh, don't don't pick on tech squig. It's only as good as the person that programmed it. Programmed it, and I'm the person that programmed it. So um, it's on a cooldown. Fuck's sake. Okay, that I need to fix. To be fair, that is an actual channel. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Did not know that. I suppose uh, you've got to do whatever you can to get a unique name. I wonder if I left food for four. Tell you what. I can fix the shout out um, cooldown. Right now. Oh, actually... Um, it's set so only moderators can use it. It's not a cooldown issue. Um, which means only Tidders and Longfang have the power. There we go. Thank you very much, Tidders. Uh, yeah, Duke's fixed so many of my fucking audio issues. He's a very good egg. Always makes time for me when I'm going, I don't understand what this fucking thing's doing. <clears throat> okay, I'm hit. <sighs> um, Dorothy? <sighs> you won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Hmm? Ah, honey! You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual, 
usual, usual. The usual. I wonder what's wrong with her though. Oh fuck, what is her usual? Is it a sugar rush? What's our sweetheart? Do you wanna do you wanna lay on my lap? Because you weebling to and fro. What's up? It's too warm for you, innit? Hey. You wanna cuddle but it's too hot. She starts singing Daisy Daisy, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know if I could even do uh, fucking uh, Daisy in the voice I use for her. It'd probably kill me. Um, could somebody check for me what her usual is? Because I don't fucking remember. And um, I'm guessing Dammy's not here. Because otherwise he would have jumped in the said by now. I think it's a sugar rush, but I'm not sure. Oh, you're getting down. Piano woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was miles fucking off, wasn't I? Hey, RNG, how you doing? come with a piano no it won't soul also hello how are you doing oh orangey i'm sorry to hear that friend if there's anything that we can do to help you let us know okay and if you want to lurk that's fine by me there's never any obligation to chat in this chat we can just chill out and hopefully enjoy whatever's going on on the stream but I hope whatever's going on, it sorts itself out soon so that you can go back to feeling less not great. Too hot for comfort. Yeah, I get that, soul. I mean, I'm drinking a fucking coffee, but I needed the caffeine. Feeling a little tired today. Why did MCC uninstall itself? Oh, that's weird. It shouldn't do that. I hope it's uh, nothing serious, Rocket. Um, I really like the um, little decoration on the piano woman. It almost looks like it's a little light of some description. And I kind of want to know if they actually exist. Here. This is nice. Nice. Mm, nice. Nice. Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Looks like a scrotum. You would say that, Tidders. You filthy bugger. Hey, honey. How do you know what's real? How so? I mean... How do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? Oh Jesus. Oh shit. This is gonna be... <clears throat> Buckle in folks. <laughs> We're going existential. Hey Hans, how you doing? Oh, I'm gonna need a stronger coffee for this. Preferably one with some booze in it. What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? <sighs> oh, Dorothy, you've been reading too many of my bloody books. And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. 
Am I? Dorothy. Hmm. So you're having a solipsistic crisis of sorts? Solip what? Solipsism, the theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See? That's another thing right there, that word. Solipsism. What does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace means alone. It uh, means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? You are a simulation, Dorothy. Little bit. Little bit. She says some burgers feeling like crap after I mowed the lawn today. Oh, damn hands. Well, I hope the burgers were tasty. And as much as you may be feeling like crap after mowing the lawn, you did an adult. Well done. I'm proud of you, mate. Mowing lawns is fucking shit. I hate mowing the lawn. Um, but it's the thing that needs to be done. And you did the thing. So good on you. I take it the burgers were a reward, and they were well-deserved. Yeah, Jill is exactly my kind of nerd. I've got to admit. I really like etymology. And entomology. Don't get the two confused. It upsets people. Um, yeah, I like Jill. And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this. Same here, aside from the smoking anyway. Yeah, fair enough. I'm... I'm changing my opinion about smoking over time, I guess. Like, as long as you're not puffing smoke in my face, I don't really care. be like strictly against it but I just don't care anymore. Live and let live I guess. It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense. Why? Calm down. That's just semantic satiation. Stop making up words honey. And then there's this counter. How can I be sure this counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Oh god. Yeah, I can appreciate why it'd be a problem for you titters. Dorothy never studied history because all the people who decided a noise means something and then they changed it later on will drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if any of you folks in chat saw the TikTok that I posted on Twitter uh, this morning about why words like why and where have a H in them that we don't say. That was an interesting experience for me watching it the first time. That's a, a pity titters because um, His stuff's really good. English can burn. Yeah, exactly, Hans. Um, the the long and the short of it is um, the way the words were originally spelt. They started with a H, and you can still hear that in um, uh, Scots dialect and things like that, um, in the way that they pronounce the words. Uh, but the English, specifically the Southerners, um, decided that they didn't want that to be the way it was so they took the h's out of all the words um but then people who knew those words from how they were written didn't recognize the words anymore so couldn't pronounce them so they put the h back in but put it after the w um and made it a silent h so basically it's um that the reason we have silent H's in a load of our words in the English language is because at some point in our history um, 
the English decided that they didn't like the way Scottish people spoke. Uh. Which is just kind of shit. Hello, Catnip. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're doing well today. But yeah, uh, that, that really pissed me off because I was just like... Northerners and Scottish people do not have rough, barbaric-sounding accents. Anybody that thinks that can fuck right off. So they changed it and then compromised. Sort of. Buff. Sort of. Exactly, Hans. That is exactly it. That's the TLDR. I mean, every point in the la for the last... Uh, yep. Yep. I do, Tidders. How you doing, Sophia? The Scottish part of me is now pissed off. That's fair. The, the Yorkshire part of me is extremely pissed off by the whole thing. Um, as is the Ukrainian part of me for different reasons. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Hold on. Just making sure. Mm. Good, it's the weekend after all. Good. Well, I hope you have a lovely weekend, my friend. I should make her a drink, at the very least. I'll have something to throw at her. <sighs> Do I give her another piano woman, or...? I don't know. What do we think, folks? Piano or a sugar rush? Mm, let's give her a sugar rush this time. Let's mix it up a little bit. Two Adel, one Delta. Optional Carmatrine. Do we want to get a trashed? Is it a good idea to get someone having an existential crisis trashed? Oh, and the Yorkshire and Czech. So I'm two thirds pissed off. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ivan. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know whether to get her drunk or not. Absolutely. Oh, jeez. <laughs> But fuck it, let's go. Okay, fine. We did say at the beginning of um, this playthrough that we were going to get people drunk at every opportunity. And if I put enough Karmatrine in it, it'll be a big drink and then she'll have to pay me more for it. Fuck it. Capitalism, ho! I need to pay my rent, soul! I've got like a, it's like an 80 grand um, bill to pay at the end of the month. Otherwise I get evicted on New Year's. Is there only 10k? Okay. But still, that's way more money than I can make in the time I've got um, allotted unless I give everybody big drinks and get them all drunk. I do not have 35k, Zatheo. That is the bar's money. That's the money in the till. I might be confusing it and combining it with the previous 8k. Also, I've slept since then. Uh, right. All mixed. It's not like an alcohol rush instead of a sugar rush, but never mind. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with, Ma with my guardian. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. Oh, Dorothy, fucking mood, my darling. Hey, Mudhell, how you doing, friend? You slept in this economy? Such luxury. Yeah, you say that, Salt. I blacked out yesterday morning. It was so hot, I blacked out and missed my own fucking performance review at work. 
I've now got to log on on Monday morning uh, to have my performance review because it's literally the only time that my um, senior manager can do it. Still feel like such a fucking idiot for that. Yeah, me too, Titters. It's just... <laughs> Don't leave people alone with their brains for too long. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause after I've asked the first question here so that folks in chat that need to can get the joke out of their system. What is love? <laughs> there we go. I knew one of you would fucking do it. Oh my god. I haven't listened to Hadaway in a very long time. My dad was a big Hadaway fan. What is fun? It's the thing that you're sapping out of the room right now, Dorothy. Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? Space! <laughs> That's fair, Modeo. What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? I don't need this shit, Dorothy. I try to keep this stuff out of my head normally anyway. <laughs> You're not helping. What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? Oh, Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should go get some vodka. It might make this easier. Goddamn Dorothy giving me flashbacks to half past three last night. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, hello there, my worst nightmare. Yes, indeed. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sorry, folks. Uh, Dorothy's just hitting everybody close to home today. What tells me that you're real? Huh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Oh, fuck. Don't you start, Jill. I don't need this. Be right back, drowning my sorrows, sorrows in cola. Fair. Fair. Yeah, I would agree, Tidders. That doesn't sound like a good plan. Okie doke, Sophia. You enjoy your food, friend. Yeah. Sorry, Ivan. And everybody else in chat that's just like, fucking hell, Dorothy. <sighs> or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. <sighs> hmm. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis. That uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch, and the fear got worse. Okay, before I continue any further, seeing as it's already happened, content warning for self-harm. I am terribly sorry, folks. Um, I don't know how long it's going to continue for, but if you do need to step out or mute the stream for a bit, that's perfectly fine. Um, that goes for mods too. If you can't cope with this, that is fine. Um, I will... Yeah, that's fair, Ivan. You take care, mate. I am so, so sorry. Um... Yeah, I'm deeply sorry to anybody in chat that's been affected by this. Um, and I completely understand if you need to go and take some time for yourself now. Um, if you do, if you are okay to continue but you need a break, I will um, suggest that you mute the stream and I will uh, pop a note into chat when... Um, this bit of the conversation is over so that you can unmute and nothing else uh, is likely to cause any distress. I am very, very sorry. Did not know that this was going to... Uh... 
Okay, thank you, Tiddus. Yeah, I did not know this was gonna happen. <sighs> Fucking hell. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World. One of my favorites. At one point I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things. A story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. <laughs> I like it. Hey. Can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay then. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we might be alright now. Um, and I'm sure folks will want to see that. Thank you very much, Titters. Oh. I'm going to have to remember to put a content warning on this one when I upload the bod as well. Drinking like a pro. Yes, that's exactly how you how you get alcohol into your system quickly. Oh, am I going to have to pay for that drink? I hope not. Phew. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. Straight to the brain. Yes, exactly. And? It burns. And itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana's... Uh... Oh, I've been here before. Hey! It's Legally Distinct Canada. Oh, her character model isn't soaked. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, though. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right, sign here please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. <laughs> it's a me, ma, legally distinct Canada. What is this? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna take that sound off for you, Tidders. <laughs> is this how we uh, send dick pics in the future? We actually just send a hot dog in a box. Dana likes them bad dragons, it's all fucking hell. Large package turns out to be a wiener. <laughs> yeah, fair point, model. I assume that the wiener's for jelly. Fucking hell, dude. Hey, honey. Hmm? The big package had a big wiener inside. Of course she'd be the one to pick up on that. <laughs> what will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it? <coughs> oh no. Honey? Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. Stop! <laughs> Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? Oh my god. I like how we've gone from so bad I actually upset a member of chat, which I am still feeling fucking guilty about, to sex jokes. This game. This fucking game. <clears throat> Bonk horny jail for everyone. That's fair. That's completely fair. Honestly, my breakdowns go the same, so yeah, to be fair, so do mine. But, um... <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look at that! An accurate representation of what it's like to have mental health issues. Yippee! Oh, jeez. Um, give me a second, folks. I'm just going to pop myself in to be right back. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, so, just so that you were uh, aware of what's going on there, um, Ivan is a very close friend of mine from Meatspace, and um, he messaged me just about what happened and I wanted to take a moment to have a quick conversation with him uh, make sure that he's okay um, and make sure that he's got any support that he needs and stuff like that um... hey cyborg I hope you're doing okay today friend um, and for the record it would be the same for any of you in chat. I don't like putting any of you in a position where you feel uncomfortable. Um, and I definitely don't like um, putting you in a position that makes you feel in any way unpleasant. Um, and if I have ever done that, uh, I would like to know about it so that I can support you in an appropriate way. Okay? 
Um, he is doing okay for anybody that's concerned. He's just having a bit of a tough time of it at the minute and he needed to remove himself from the situation so that it didn't cause any issues. Um, but he is okay. Uh, thank you to everybody who's um, wished him well. I'll uh, let him know after the stream. Thanks, folks. Anyway, back to the dick jokes, yeah? <clears throat> I do- Oh! <laughs> oh, I see, I see what she did there. Seriously, Jill. She's uh, <laughs> making jokes. <clears throat> I forgot that was in there. Oh my god, nobody's used that one. <sighs> oh dear. Hey, Mumbog. Inarticulate melty screaming. Oh, cyborg. Uh, that is a big mood, my friend. Time to get back to Dana's giant wiener, indeed. Yeah, salt, that was fucking perfect and completely fucking derailed me. So, well done. <laughs> um, and you're the one trying not, uh, trying not too hard to, to laugh at, too hard at them. Anyway. We all know if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? Mario. Oh, I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. He might have another delivery, you know? This is the last one, actually. I'll, I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine cloud for Mario. Hey, hang on a minute. Um. Yay! He did the thing! He ordered a girly drink and he wasn't weird about it. Yay! Well done, Mario. I'm proud of you. Character progression. Excellent! Yes! That was the perfect one to have there as well. I'm really glad that it came up with that one and not like the pirates or something. <sighs> oh, this is nice. This is nice. Also Mario Sunshine. Oh, for fuck's sake, soul. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'm so pleased for him. Do we want to get him drunk? Why do I ask that? We want to get him drunk. Absolutely. Can you feel the Super Mario sunshine? I don't think that fits into the song when you do that. It is on the rocks and blended. Yeah, it do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Suncloud. what happens when you cross the main characters from Final Fantasy 7, I want to say, and um, Dragon Ball. Get some cloud. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, um... Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Oh, Dorothy, you fucking shill. I love it. Exclamation mark tip Dorothy. But yeah, Dorothy, why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way? Lilith? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? Oh, Mario, I want to hug you. Look at you. You've come so far since you last came into the bar. Oh. 
also want to steal your jacket. Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see Honey Hair laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you'd think. Mm -mm. That made me happy, and I don't know. It fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it. I get it. Don't worry. You like guys. It's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? Mario, Mario. Yes, it and his brother, Luigi Mario. I'm just imagining you lurking outside the bar in a bin, waiting for Mario to leave so you can mug him. Well, I am a trash panda. When is the may I call you a friend of Dorothy going to be said? Oh my God, he is now. He is a friend of Dorothy now. In both the literal and the uh, less literal sense. <laughs> Indeed, soul. Dear, oh dear. You lot are filthy. I do, yeah. Have you been to the motor district? I spend all of my free time in the motor district, actually, why? Is it true that what they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. <laughs> He's familiar as a... a griffin, but it's a mix of a raccoon and a magpie. Yes, exactly, cyborg. Do I have to post the what the raccoons know video? I have seen that video many times, Rocket, because people keep fucking tagging me in it. <laughs> like, people DM it to me as well. I have had that video sent to me about six times in the last couple of months. <laughs> I mean, thank you. I appreciate that you see raccoons and immediately think of me now. Um, but damn. For you know she has a mod uh, has modular privates or an extendo wiener for pegging fans. I think she said earlier in the game that she doesn't have those components, but that they are available. And yeah, that would make sense as um, an early cybernetic part to be available for people. Oh, jeez, really, Hans? I mean, I don't... This is the reason I only play Monster Hunter with people that I, um... I know, because... I do the same with Destiny. I don't like playing with strangers. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also a semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. Damn. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I, I know we saw the Christine Love thing in the, the last... Um, session but it gets me every time fair enough titters 
For Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me. They look intimidating enough, but truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. I'm alright with that. Oh! Do you want anything else? I'll have a piano man. Alright. A piano man for Mario. My spirit channel. Let's have a loop see. Crow raccoon. Yes! It is beautiful. I love it. That's that's amazing. He's driving so don't get him sloshed. Good point buff. Oh, this one's um, a static amount of commentary in any way, so... Oh, hey puppy! What's up? I'm go out. Oh no, you just sit in there. Okay, whatever. Oh, Yeah, he's gonna get a slosh anyway. All on the rocks and mixed. One piano man. This one is fun too. Let's have a quick look. Here. Oh yes, the trash griffins. Beth Ab. I've seen them before. They're absolutely brilliant. Yeah, this is nice. Hey, you two an item? <laughs> okay, Gil finds that funny. Uh, what are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Eh? Get in there, Gil! <sighs> <clears throat> You work with this hunk of a man and you don't feel the least bit tempted. How can you be so calm with his smell so close to you? Oh my god, Mario, calm down, mate. <laughs> Ever heard the expression, his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry? Punk for Mario, indeed. Mario goes to Horny Joe. Oh my god. Putu Palace Cat. Yes! I fucking love Putus. They're, they're, they're hilarious. I'm gonna have to remember that one, Joe. Yeah. Feel that in my soul. Yeah. Fair. Because his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. <laughs> if he even has a past at all. I'm having my doubts lately. Are you implying he's not good game? Oh, don't misunderstand. Guilt is good game. He's not bad looking. He's a gentleman. He's always attentive. But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's getting close to somebody. You don't have to marry him. Just push into a closet and... Eh, not interested. You annoy me, bartender. Don't see what you have right in front of you. I'm out. Please come again. Ugh, Gil. You heartbreaking fuckboy. Kookaburra Griffin. Yes, kookaburras are so cute. <laughs> Tana's giant wiener is all that Jill needs. Indeed. Mm. Back. Did anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humour of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Hey! They brought you a package. Ah, yes. My curated wiener. 
It's curated. Um, it's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> That's a new one. Have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. Okay, so I have a little over five and a half grand in the bank. It is two days until rent day. I am not going to make that money in time. Curated Wiener with an audio narration by Tom Hanks. Jill wonders if my necky neckos actually bring luck. Buy one to prevent her from getting too distracted. Fuck's sake, Jill. You're worse than me. Rob a bank? I wish I fucking could, but the bank already got robbed once. I think they've stepped up security. Better hope that the Christmas bonus isn't a subscription to the Jelly of the Month Club. Mmm, indeed. <laughs> Wiener. Fabulous. Feet picks? Whose feet? Oh my god, it's so expensive. Dana's clearly, yeah, fair play. You're about to buy the Maneki Neko for $550. Please confirm. I know I need the money, but I want the cat. <laughs> I like how Buff and Titters are in chat being my literal fucking conscience right now. This is what the inside of my head looks like. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work right up until she freezes to death when she's kicked out of her home. And you wonder why I'm always skin. Fucking mood, titters! Well, time to start prepping a spot in the bar to sleep. I mean, yeah, if we're really lucky, Dana will just let us sleep at the bar. I mean, I'm guessing that's what Gil does. <laughs> yeah, cyborg. We've got entirely new news articles today. Wonder if we've got entirely new Reddit articles as well. Not Reddit articles. Uh, First Space Colony plans to develop its own army by Lana Smithy. Oh fuck. Even though space was imagined as the promised land, a place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. The First Space Colony, Shin Outer Paradise, I'm just going to take a moment for that one. Uh, Shin is the Japanese word for nu, which is why the Japanese name for Neon Genesis Evangelion um, is actually Shinseki Evangelion, um, and why Shin Godzilla is called Shin Godzilla. Also might have something to do with the fact that they have the same director and writer. Um, he likes making things. No. It's currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army, following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream, this terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you, the only reason for this law is so they can have more control over the population. Yep, sounds about right. Shin Godzilla, because he is all leg. Fuck yes. I really like the Shin Gaiji design. Metal Gear Saga kicks in. Yep. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised. By Lana Smithing. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines. 
but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think how mundane it's become. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces. Thanks to new technologies, the traditional views on human relationships have changed so much that some marrying a little, uh, literal object feels kind of tame now. If the pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different, but it's just the plain, generic anime hug pillow. Get with the times, Grandma. All right then. I wonder which intern wrote that article. Uh, please excuse me and my slightly hay fevery face. Y2K, the final remaster, leads the video game charts by Lana Smithy. The newest remaster of 2016's Y2K, a postmodern RPG, opens the charts this week with 3.5 million copies shipped on its launch day. Other titles this week include new releases such as Hatsune Miku Project Remaster and Sting's Face Remastered. Okay, so the obvious one there is um, the Hatsune Miku um, one. Wait, now it's pronounced bollocks. Oof. <laughs> Yeek. Um... So that, that one's pretty obvious. Sting's face is Steins Gate. Which is one of my favourite games. Cause time travel, bitches! Love me a bit of time travel. On that note, uh, for anybody that's got Disney+, Plus, Loki started. It's good. Full chart including lifetime sales, Y2K, the final remaster, 3.5 million new Hatsune Miku Project Remaster 1.5 million new Sting's Face Remastered 950k new Water Pro Wrestling G 500k 950k Dang it Round Paul Okay um, 400k out of 1.2 million Pro tag of y uh, to Y2K is um, the kind of guy even I would beat up. Mm. It's deader than disco. Oh my god, we made it into not Reddit. Okay, we've read those two threads, so we've only got this one. Oh my god, will I read it? Yes, I'm going to, don't worry. That bar called Valhalla. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Normies are taking over, huh? Huh. <laughs> Everyone is a neat, just like me. Place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. Oh, well, fucking excuse you, mate. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. Wow. This is why you should never Google yourself, folks. <laughs> Fair buff. Fair. <clears throat> I see you already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? Nah, I just heard from the distance. So, is that a no? Kind of, I mean, if you're going there just to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you, where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I think I'm going next week then. Sounds good enough for me. This thread is closed. Thank you, Cyborg. I was quite pleased with it. How did I get here? I was so pleased that people actually got it, because, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure they would. 
Okie dokie. Right, we've spent money we shouldn't have. We've caught up with the news. We've fucked about on the internet. <laughs> oh, titters. Hugs. It's okay, friend. I think you're fucking awesome too. Okay. Let's go to work. Thank you, Tiddles. Oh, okay, that's fine, Modale. Good evening. Oh, Jill. I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the dot? Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. <gasps> Chill. That's evil. I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. There you go, buddy. No, he just wants me to open the door. <sighs> that was a good use of the evil laugh. Well done. Oh, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Shoebill serve. Well, fucking hell. That I've got to see. Whoa! I'm saving that one for slow. Slow really likes shoe bills and servals. So. <laughs> Jamie pops in and out of existence. He is a temporal bounty hunter. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Oh my god, it's legally distinct Kanji Tatsumi. Jamie's a lurker. Yeah, he fucking is. Maybe it was him that posted the shitty review of us on not Reddit. Because he didn't like us, did he? Yeah, yeah, shut up. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. Uh, there were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made the noise. Let's just keep it a whatever drone story you heard. Right. The noise got annoying after a while, I must say. Say either him or Mario. It really is, isn't it, Buff? That'd be a lot of fun. Have remained in the vicinity. I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. Distant explosions all night. Interesting. So we didn't get far away. Hmm. Um. Now, give me a Mars blast. A Mars blast for the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Delta. Four flan. And two farm trim. All blended. Hey, Danny. How you doing? Here you go. Well, you didn't mess up. Sorry, if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Most certainly not. You really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. What day are we on? We're on the 28th? Whatever that is. Oh, 
I can fight dirty. <laughs> I've got to admit, that's the kind of response I'd give. Jamie, please, please, suplex that dweeb into the empty peanut shells on the floor. Fuck yes. Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. But I do! I don't think so, Dammy. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right. Sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight at this bar. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex? Next time, it might be your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try the suplex thing. Right. Let's give Ingram a suplex. Wow, that sounded weird. Let's fucking do it. And I don't mean the drink. Yeah, Jamie, suplex him. Does this count as a strong drink? Here. Good stuff. Like a less burning, punchier pile driver. So, the face looks somehow familiar in this stuff. Call me Jamie. And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I need to look for a specific file at... Hmm. Did you perhaps go through a nanomachine expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So, why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? The second one. It's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does that expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. Causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in bed with a horrible pressure builds up in your body. And nanomachines are forced out. Ugh. In other news, Jamie states that water is wet. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. Ugh. And after all that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch! What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. And he punches him in the gut. Oh, no, no, he's uh, ordering a drink. Yeah, should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Oh, you trying to look cool? Sure. Let's give him a gut punch. Again, that didn't sound right. <sighs> We're getting him drunk. <laughs> no, Jill, that sounded so, so right. Yeah, it did. Here. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours, though. I added a couple of extras in his, actually. So, where's the antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. They can be troublesome at times, but the perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. And the rest of their enhancements? Wait, were you reconstructed, or have you been adding them over time? 
over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. Wow, he's still a bell end. Who'd have thought? You said that twice. Shut up. Seemed like a nice guy. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you caught him on a bad day? Nah, I think you're just good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough, that guy tried tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood too. <laughs> a bad touch for Alma. I'm sure plenty of people would love to give Ingram a gut punch. Yeah, probably. Titties! Titties is happy. Uh, bad touch. Two delta. Two flan. Poor Carmo. Genuine On the rocks. Enthusiasm. Oh heck. Um. Thank you very much for the follow, Podlord Tynan. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, friend? Uh. Mix. That's what I was doing. <laughs> the bad touch is such a pretty colour. Hey. You have such a petty sense of humour. Guilty as charged. So, what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that. Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that but also dressed like she got fucked in the back of a parking lot and to top it off she forgot to even bring her kids luckily my parents brought them to the court the judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being so she really messed it up huh when they came back to the house and diana started throwing a temper tantrum she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst would make her jump onto the highway. Fabulous! Okay, second content warning for this stream. We are now talking about terrible parents. And the terrible things that they do and say. If this is going to be difficult for anybody, please um, feel free to mute the stream and... Uh, titters, if you wouldn't mind just putting a, a message in chat when... The shit has gone. So Ava comes and says, Then make sure it kills you, because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. I shouldn't reinforce that behaviour, but... <sighs> no, you really fucking shouldn't, Alma. I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but... I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite an the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. We even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all of that. I mean, the age difference and all. But there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was a day she invited her friends to the house and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister, and she said she had no little sisters. Whoa, okay. Ouch. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held her on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admir admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years. Hey. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? 
She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult. You see an overgrown, horny teen. So aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Huh. But enough about me. How are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. Oh jeez, Titters. I'm sorry to hear that, friend. I think we're um, on safe ground now. Thank you very much for popping the note into, into chat, Titters. You're a star. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out at my dead guff? Dead ex's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give a Brantini, will you? That's a little story I want to tell you. Right. A Brantini. Alright. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. Um, so I'm going to try and clip through this until we get to break time. Oh, shit. And as I say that, I completely fuck up the drink order. Six, one, two, three. One carbotrine. Aged. Mixed. Brantini. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Boo! Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew dis disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. Not now. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend, not soon after. And after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Shut up! The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like part of her had crumbled. Hey Joe? I can lift her sweater. Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. Alright, enough. Enough? Shit. Peace out. Fucking Anna! You knob! <clears throat> I'm calm. Uh, I mean... I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Please, get to the point. Right. Uh, the point is, if you don't face her... She will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can I get a beer? Right. Uh, beer. Man, I am going crazy, aren't I? <sighs> Shit. One adult. Two Bronson, one Delta, two Flan, four Carmatrine, four mixed. Served. Here. Thanks. So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenora introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was... she was pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and a little sister, if you don't grant that girl the chance of, take, of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. Yes. All right. Bah! You were here? You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Uh, anyways, call me if anything comes up. Amma's boyfriend is the Andros from Space Marine. <laughs> the special hell, yeah. You sure it's not you masquerading as Anna? Okay, let's quickly save. Oh, with four minutes to spare. I think I've done all right there. Got through that at a fair clip. Uh, don't have to panic about um, having to do a catch-up stream ready for um, fucking Hollow Knight tomorrow. Um, Part-time achieved indeed, Rocket. Um, so we'll get to the uh, ending, ending soon screen. Yay! Um, before I do anything else, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Titters for um being a super special awesome mod today um because those uh couple of uh fucking content warnings were oof. i really really appreciate your support and your help there um and also uh thank you and again a massive apology to anybody in um in the chat that has been affected by the things that have been um discussed in today's stream um i really do appreciate folks uh coming out and uh hanging out today especially considering how fucking intense it was um so i will be back tomorrow with more hollow knight uh and i will be back on sunday with more wallace and gromit very exciting um and I'm going to say it now, just in case. Uh, contrary to my usual schedule, I will also be streaming on Monday next week because Monday is my 30th birthday. Yay. Um, so hopefully I'll see all you lovely folks around noon UK time um, for my trip through hobbies uh, gaming history stream. <laughs> be playing some uh, classic games from the Mega Drive and that sort of era. Um, if anybody wants to enter the giveaway, now is your last chance. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and a little bit of lag because of the stream. Closing the poll, uh, the poll, the uh, giveaway now. Don't even know if anybody entered it. Hey, D Mac. No, you fucking weren't. I don't think anybody entered. Um, I'm guessing everybody already has Dawn of War 2 anyway. So, um, <sighs> trying to keep an eye and see if the long friend has gone live yet, because I know he was supposed to. Yes, yes he has, ha ha. Okie dokie. Um, so, as is customary on a Friday, we've read in Long Fang. Um, so massive thank you to everyone that's come along today in spite of the heavy nature of the content i've had a really good time and i hope you all have too apologies again um i will hopefully see you all tomorrow for hollow knight um and whenever i see you next until then i want you to take care of yourselves take care of each other wash your fucking hands and go say hi to the long friend. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye.